Hello, it is Tuesday the 27th of June, so that means tomorrow I am 20 weeks pregnant, which feels insane. It's a halfway point and it's a milestone that I've been just really looking forward to getting to and feels very legitimate. Um, and so it's very, very exciting. I um, haven't done much video since I think I was about 12 weeks pregnant or maybe 11 weeks pregnant um, and so the last kind of six weeks have been very good. This pregnancy has been very good to me. There are still little bits and pieces that are quite different um, to normal um, but I feel like I'm getting used to those. So. It can sometimes feel like I feel less pregnant now than I even did at the beginning. Um, but the very exciting thing is that I'm starting to just get a little bump and I feel like that's growing um, a bit more every day. Um, I'm obsessed with looking at it in the mirror. Um, it's still like kind of in that awkward phase, like it, you can see in some things that I'm wearing but it definitely can just still look like I'm... I've had too much to eat. Um, so I guess one of the things that has actually still stayed the same since my first trimester is that I'm still quite tired and um, yeah, quite tired and exhausted a lot of the time. I had a, I thought that it would kind of go away a bit more, um, but it's still lingering. And some weeks it's even worse than what I ever remembered back in the first trimester. At the moment, it's pretty relaxed. It's not too bad, but. Um, I'm definitely finding it really, really hard to wake up in the morning and get out of bed. Uh, like I'm, I set my alarm for 7 a.m., but like never get out of bed until that 7:30, and that feels just really late to me. Cause next second it's like nearly nine o'clock, and I haven't got any work done or anything. So it kind of throws my mornings out a bit more than what they what. what throw my mornings out a bit more than usual uh, and it can kind of make me feel a little bit guilty and um, just a bit annoyed at myself uh, but it's hard I really can't drag myself out of bed even if I've had a long sleep like even if I've gone to bed at 10 p.m. I find it really difficult to just my, my, make my eyes ready for the day um, but on one hand I do feel guilty and I feel bad um, and I get annoyed at myself and on the other hand I'm kind of just trying to let myself appreciate it because you know in a couple of months we'll have a baby where I know that I'll be waking up you know a lot during the night and not getting as much sleep and I'll just be kicking myself for not appreciating this time when I am able to sleep in a little bit longer than what I know will be the case in a couple of months. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to get better at just not being annoyed at myself for not waking up early, earlier and trying to, once I kind of get into the rhythm of the day, to, um, to not let myself kind of get too exhausted. I feel like the thing that makes me get really tired is if I, ha if I haven't eaten for a while or if I'm not drinking enough water. Um, so I definitely try and do those or just keep making myself cups of tea, um, particularly lemon and ginger or um, a decaf green tea. I love loving decaf green tea um, and especially since it's cold at the moment it's so nice to just um, <clears throat> have a cup of tea during the day like a lot of them um, especially since I'm not having much coffee like one coffee a day. Um, and a week coffee at that. I think another thing that has randomly started occurring in the last couple of weeks is that I've become obsessed with beauty products and skincare products. And if you know me, then this is so strange. I mean, my whole life I have never ever thought about skincare or beauty products. I've just kind of gone and got things that looked fine or were a certain price point or whatever. I never really cared about anything in particular. Um, but 
in the last couple of weeks I've been like weirdly obsessed about researching products and finding a um, nice easy skincare routine. Um, I found that my skin was getting so much drier than usual. I'm not sure if that's pregnancy or if that's just winter or I'm not sure but it's never been this dry and my skin is usually quite oily so I was looking um, on Mecca and I went there and I got some beautiful products, skincare products um, and then also went to the body shop <coughs> and um, Got a nice facial scrub. I think scrub, like exfoliation in scrubs, I'm just obsessed with at the moment, as well as like facial misters. I haven't got one of those yet, but they just feel so refreshing. Like I need to, I'm definitely gonna get one, but because my face can get really tired, um, it's not even like I feel that tired, but my face just feels really sleepy a lot of the time. So just having a mister, would, I feel like would be really awakening. Then um, I got a really nice eye cream, um, which is definitely, I can definitely make, um, see a difference in just, I got it on Friday and it's Tuesday today, but I've used it every day <coughs> since then and it makes my eyes just feel so much more awake in the mornings. Um, um, when it comes to food and exercise, um, I have definitely been giving in to some cravings that I kind of feel guilty about afterwards. like. A cheeky cupcake or a hot chocolate or so like that I feel like it's tough at the moment for me because it's also winter so I naturally do give in to cravings um, more in the winter even if I'm not pregnant um, because it's just so much colder and you like it's kind of hibernation months and you're not going to be at the beach all the time <coughs> so it just feels so cozy to um, kind of indulge in a bit in some chocolate or anything like that um but on the whole i'm still um eating pretty healthily like i love uh one of my favorite snacks is uh rice cakes with avocado i think that's like been the same since my beginning of pregnancy um i kind of aren't having that many cravings for anything in particular i just um because it's citrus season here the mandarins and the clementines and stuff are just so delicious so i have so many of them during the day i think like three or four a day um but they're just so good because they they fill me up a little bit and they're refreshing and they're healthy and um i don't i feel like i don't then have a craving for anything bad but then when it comes to working out the motivation is just <laughs> difficult to find like because it is cold again not that it's like cold actually like it's so mild by the way but it's not like hot summer city summer that is much easier to kind of get out about and um, be active um but i did download a, <coughs> an app because for pregnancy um workouts because i was finding like just going for walks like oh, great but um they take quite a lot out of my day and I just was looking for something quite easy and quick to do at home but still work out and um, be a bit more all body so I've used it a couple of times it's like a little 20 minute workout um, app I can't actually remember what it's called I just think it's called um, prenatal 20 minute workout something like that it's um it's pretty clunky app but I it's really good for, for what you get like the it's, I think it's like four dollars or something and it's just 20 minute workouts and they're just like and I know that they're good exercises to do while pregnant so that's good other than that I just take Winnie out for a walk um, on the weekend we did two big walks we did um, DY to Coco which is favorite I'm actually gonna do that tomorrow with my brother because he's got a day off work um, <coughs> And then on Sunday we did a big walk around the neighbourhood, um, which was beautiful. But after I go for walks, I feel I come home and I feel exhausted. Like it's crazy because normally when I'm not pregnant, like a walk will give me heaps of energy. Like I'll come back and I'll feel like just energised for the rest of the day. Now it's the complete opposite. It's so good to get out and to be active, but I come home and I feel just like depleted of any kind of energy which I guess makes sense 
Um, <clears throat> but it's just a bit frustrating. I get annoyed at myself sometimes. But and on one hand, again, I like, I kind of am learning to get, um, to just soak it up as much as I can. Um, one sec, Winston just wants to come in. <clears throat> This is not, this is bad because I've got the babies. Here they come. Good boy. So we bought the baby some toys, like teddies. <laughs> and Winston is just teddy obsessed. So we've got to hide them from him because otherwise he'll just think that they're toys for him. Um, I don't know what he's doing. Um, but yeah, so my energy is um, still quite low which is difficult with work. Um, I find it hard uh, to keep on top of everything and it's not like it's not like what I've got to do is physically <laughs> straining, especially at the moment because I'm just kind of in like a um, editing <coughs> block of just trying to catch up on recent weddings. Um, I haven't shot a wedding since halfway through May and I've got another one this weekend. But yeah, so I've had a big, <coughs> a big gap, and so I've just been trying to catch up with um, catch up on wedding editing. It's such an easy thing to do at home, um, but it's like mentally exhausting sometimes because it's a lot of sitting in front of the computer trying to edit, trying to get through everything, um, and I can and it just can make me really, really even more tired than um, previously. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm. It's funny that this is like being my first wedding season, and I didn't really know much about shooting wedding a lot of weddings in a row. Um, going into this season, and it's just funny that we got pregnant during my first wedding season as well. So I don't know what it would be like to do a wedding without having. Oh, now we need someone to get out. Yeah, so I wouldn't know what it would be like to do a wedding season without being pregnant. Um, but I think it's good training for my next wedding season when I'll have a baby. <laughs> so I think that's going to be even a lot more real, um, a lot more intense. But this is definitely good training. But yeah, so it, ha it is difficult and... I'm definitely I'm planning on putting a blog post together about like um, my first wedding season and what I've learned from it and trying to juggle being pregnant as well as um, especially in those first couple of months of being pregnant um, trying to juggle that and also work. Last Friday we went to our it was my I was 19 weeks and two days so like the 19 20 week scan where you get to see so much. Um, it was my favourite scan so far. We were in there, it's like, it goes for about 40 minutes, just the same amount of time or so as a 13 week one. Um, <coughs> but it was just amazing. Um, it was so good to see the baby, um, looking so much bigger. Even, we went to an obstetrician appointment a while uh, on the 8th of June I think I was about 17 weeks in and in that that like two and a bit weeks of not seeing the baby it was crazy how much of a change had happened since our last obstetrician appointment to when we went to the um, 20 week scan <coughs> last week or the 19 weeks in um, and it's just so cool how they can know exactly what things mean and what things do and and everything seemed to be really great and um which was just it's just always such a reassuring feeling when you come out of that and you can just it's like whole i don't know it's just such a exciting feeling sometimes it can be a little bit obviously worrying like um but yeah, so when you get to go see your baby and be reassured that everything's going along really, really well, it's very, it's such a comforting feeling. So that was fantastic. That was on Friday and then George and I, we, well, we, we made a bit of a tradition that when we have a scan, we then go off to a baby shop and buy something for our little boy. 
so this time because there's so much cute wintery stuff in um, the shops at the moment we bought him this adorable little jumper from Country Road oh, how cute look we're kind of matching <laughs> and then we also got this little teddy from Country Road too for his nursery um, so yeah, so actually I'm going to show you, I think like we've got a basket full of stuff that we bought for him, um, or a combination of friends and family that have bought for him already. So here's what we've got. We've got his first little book. We've only got one book for him so far. And I just love that book. And it's so cute and little. Um... Here's the baby book. My brother bought, bought us this. Um, he bought me this for my birthday. And it's from Kiki K. And it's so cute. I started filling some things in. Ooh. Here it is. It's so cute. I love it. Um, <coughs> then we've got this Rose Nursery 2. Winston loves this. Um, we got this down in barrel as well as this adorable little top London bus which is very appropriate <laughs> seeing as his dad is a Londoner and then we've got so many clothes already well I think we've got so many <laughs> who knows I don't know how much we need but like beanies we've got tops Eddie bought so many so many things from Seed, which is like one of the cutest baby stuff. My mum bought him this. Adorable. And this is one of my favourite little things we got him so far. A little fire engine truck for his nursery, I guess. Um, little t-shirts and shorts and Eddie bought him jeans because Eddie thinks it. Boy, little babies in jeans are just the cutest thing ever, which they are. Then we've got so much sporting stuff from England. One of one of our friends in England just went crazy and bought so many <laughs> little things. It's just so hilarious. It's like England rugby, England soccer. Just amazing, really. George bought him this and also wallabies. This little boy is going to have no idea which team to support. I reckon he will definitely end up supporting England because his dad will be supporting England. And that's what all little boys do, just do exactly what their dad does with sport. <coughs> um, and just like some cute little, all sorts of cute clothes. So we've already got this kind of put aside. Which I can't wait. Um, I'm looking forward to like putting it in the natural nursery when we move house um, towards the end of the year or towards like September, October. Um, so it's just kind of all in storage at the moment, <coughs> but it's still so exciting thinking about it. I'm really looking forward to actually purchasing some more practical things like baby carriers, cot. All, um, pram like all that sort of stuff um, we haven't we haven't purchased any of it yet so really looking forward to that um, and then another thing I'm really looking forward to is our obstetrician appointment our next one which is in July I think it's like July 10th which is two days before I go to London I'm quite anxious to go to London by myself I'm flying over before George's and um, we booked that like ages ago and I tried to actually change my flight to fly with him on the 22nd, um, <clears throat> but there were no flights available on that date. So I am going over 10 days earlier than him um, still. Um, I am anxious because like, I haven't flown by myself in such a long time. I used to do it all the time. Um, it feels weird to think about leaving Winston as well for four weeks. I'll be gone for four weeks. Um, I get such anxiety to leave him even if it's for a weekend so it's just like <coughs> scary that thought I just don't even know what I'm gonna be like when leaving my baby 
oh my god, I'm going to be a disaster. Um, but yeah, so I just know that once I'm there, it'll be so good. And I'm just so excited to see friends over there. And I'm really excited to do some baby shopping over there um, at the stores that we don't get here. Um, and to just see George's family and, um, and just have a good month there. I know so once I'm there, it'll be great, but I'm still very anxious about the fact of going to the airport by myself and getting the plane by myself. But I'm not sure if that's like a pregnancy thing, like the hormones and emotions, or if that is just me being a bit pathetic. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sure that I would still be quite anxious even if I wasn't pregnant. So yeah. But yeah, so that's the main things that have been happening over the last couple of weeks and um, I'm going to film a bit more during this week and I still haven't even posted my first trimester video but that's going to go up this week too. Bye! There's my 20 week bump. Today's Wednesday. It's only Arvo. It's um quite a miserable dark day out there now, but this morning Eddie and I went for a um really nice walk along the beaches, um, which was the best way to start the day. Um, but today means I'm 20 weeks exactly, which is so exciting. I love getting all the notifications on my um, apps that I've got saying 20 weeks today. Um, so yeah, I love it. Great milestone to reach. Um, and then after the beach, I went to the chemist and got a flu shot. Because um, my obstetrician told me, because my obstetrician told me to get one. Um, so I finally did that and which is pretty much an event <laughs> um, and then now I'm back catch up on work and <coughs> and so yesterday I was saying about some of the beauty things that I'm obsessed with um, well in my new obsession with beauty products and skincare um, this one from Body Shop is the exfoliating scrub that just has been so good and feels so fresh. The smell is just so good. Um, this is another cleanser that is so nice putting on from Bare Minerals. I got this at Mecca, got this one at the Body Shop. So they're my two favorite like kind of cleansers at the moment, as well as <coughs> this one that I've seen on the ads and this is just like, doesn't feel as good as the other two because it's just like a water. But when I'm tired and being lazy, that is just the best thing in the world. It feels really clean after I've like taken off any makeup or um, used a face wipe for one second. Um, come on, when you wanted to join. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it feels really, um, after I use a face wipe to take off any makeup, I use this and it gets off heaps more makeup than I, um, than I would have thought. Um, and I've been so lazy with skincare, like, prior to, like, two weeks ago. <laughs> George is just messaging me and I can see it coming up. We just bought a rocking chair for the baby nursery and he's... <laughs> <laughs> that Winston's gonna be terrified of it because as soon as Winston jumps up on it it will start rocking and he won't know what to do with himself and then he'll freak, get freaked out because he gets freaked out by everything um, <clears throat> but yeah um, this is yeah so um, it's just it's just so easy to use <laughs> I 
like it just feels like it's kind of too good to be true that's why I like having these two as well to kind of take to the next level but I use this kind of I use this every day because it's so easy these ones like two or three times a week then I got this serum from the body shop as well it was on sale um, which is good because serums are so expensive like 150 bucks for a good one and they're like little pots and I just thought well I've never used one before so I'm not just going to fork out $150 for something that I have no idea if it's actually going to be good for me anyway lo and behold I'm loving it it's like such a nice feeling moisturizer this is beautiful this is the eye cream that I got this was um, when I went in to buy this I impulsively bought this because I was just crazy. I was looking around at the eye creams and I just thought I need I need one. <laughs> um, and this one just sounds really good. It's by Origins and it's it's ginseng and it says refreshing eye cream to brighten and deep puff, which feels which is exactly what my eyes have been craving. Um, just feel tired all the time still. So it's been it's been actually really really good. I'm loving it. Um, then I just got this moisturizer. I'm usually really bad with moisturizing my skin, so I had to buy one. I just got it from um, Priceline, along with this when I got that. And it just I just got it because look, I don't even know if it's if it's gone or not, but it seems to be going quite well. It's by it's called Natural Instinct. So there you go. And then I also got a tint of moisturizer for the day by Nivea. This is my favorite one. I used to buy this when I was at. Um, when I was like in year nine at school and it was always really good that's what I used to wear to school instead of any other kind of makeup and oh god when Sam got his bone all over my clothes <laughs> there you go his bone <laughs> um yes and so yeah so this one I used to use in when I was at high school and it was always good and I loved it and um I, I just stop using it for some reason and started using BB creams and I don't like BB creams I just don't seem to be as they just don't seem to feel nice in my skin at all so I went back to using tinted moisturizer and it's so good I love it um, and then George got me this beautiful body cream from Lockerteen and it smells so nice I've just been putting it on at night before we go to bed on my tummy um, and it's just beautiful. So I love Locatine as well. And then for something beauty wise, not skincare, I went to I got this at Mecca as well, which is the oh, like tint things. So I've been obsessed with like getting a tint for my for, as a blush instead of. Um, a powder because ever since seeing the Glossier cloud paint I love that brand by the way I think that's one of the other reasons why I've just become obsessed with skincare and beauty because I just love that brand and into the gloss and everything just I find it very helpful <coughs> um, and inspiring but I got this color which is the Alice and I've been <laughs> worn it like every day that I wear um, this or normal makeup so they're all my favorite products at the moment um, and I seriously think that if I wasn't pregnant then I wouldn't really be caring about um, skincare as much at all so it's a random um, pregnancy obsession that I've got but um, I'm loving it at the moment really it's good my skin feels really good <laughs> um, <laughs> So it's a bonus. Another bit of a um, 20 week update note is that I'm still getting like random headaches. I had a headache today, I had a headache yesterday. They don't last very long, but um, but they like kind of just sl like slice my head. Um, but then I just try and drink as much water as I can, which helps definitely. Oh, yeah. So. It is as it is the end of financial year. Um, there are a couple sales going on at the moment, 
and I thought, oh my gosh, they're going to end soon. And we haven't really bought that many um, things for like practical stuff for the baby. Um, and I just bought some online. So I bought the rocking chair that I was the same, the one that George was messaging me about, which um, was $200 off, which was great. And um, it looks like a really nice colour. It's, uh, it's a nice grey. And we tried it. We went to Babyography in Brookvale. And um, and it was like exactly what we've been looking for in a rocking chair. <laughs> um, and then we also got the Ergo Baby um, like full position 360 carrier thing in like black and camel. So that is our two first like proper practical purchases even though rocking chair is kind of like not a necessity really um i mean i guess it is because you want to have a nice comfortable chair for when you're feeding in the middle of the night but um it's not something that we're gonna it's not like a pram or a um, carrier but it's still extremely exciting um <laughs> So yeah, so it feels awesome to say that I'm 20 weeks. It's such a exciting time. I it's just crazy to think that in 20 weeks' time, little baby boy Thompson will be here. Uh, yeah. So um, I never know how to finish the videos. What do I say? Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>